Hi there, this is William with Eastern Trophies Fly Fishing. We're going to show you how to tie a number two critter mite using our popper tail and a screw protector. Here we're tying with the Tiemco 5263. You may start your thread anywhere on the hook. Move the thread to the back, right where the bend begins on the hook. Attach your chenille, attach your hackle, Move your thread back up to the front of the hook about an eighth of an inch behind the eye. Create two bumps with your thread. Attach your brass dumbbell eyes. Secure them with crisscross wraps and then securing wraps going figure eights around your crisscross wraps. At this time, palmer your chenille up to behind the dumbbell eyes and secure. Follow with palmering the hackle up to behind the dumbbell eyes and secure with wraps once again. The hackle represents the gills that are found on every helger mite in rivers. Slide your critter mite tail through the point of the hook and onto the bend. Place a bead of gel superglue in the middle on the chenille. Place your first leg straight across. Then place your other legs crisscross as you see in the photo. The gel superglue gives you time for them to secure. Place a bead of gel super glue where the tab and the tail begin on the side that is going to go against the chenille. Run your bead all the way down to where the first spikes appear on the tail. Lay the tail down against the chenille, pull the tab towards the eye of the hook, and secure the tab with hook wraps. Any extending piece from the tab can be cut. Take your large popper tail and place a hole through the ultra suede about a quarter of an inch from the smallest end of the tail, then slide it over the eye of the hook. Using scissors, cut a slice off the open end of your screw protector and this will give you a circle. Cut out about 20% of the circle, this will give you your pinchers. Take the pinchers that you've created and place them between the dumbbell eyes and the eye of the hook, pull the smaller tab of the popper tail underneath the bottom of the hook, which is actually the top of the fly now, and secure in with thread wraps. Turn the fly back over so that the hook is riding up. Take a good pinch of calf tail, clean it really well, clip the tag ends even, secure onto the top of the hook, right where your thread is behind the eyes. Once your calf tail is secured in, then you may either glue or wrap in the popper tail so that it lays down on top of the calf tail, creating the top of the head of the Helgramite. One last step. Pull the tail up away from the chenille at the bend of the hook and place a bead of gel super glue. Push the tail back down. This secures the tail to the body completely. Notice the flat dumbbell eyes. Look at our video on YouTube on how to prepare dumbbell eyes. The flat dumbbell eyes let the fly swim more naturally. You can find screw protectors at Home Depot or Lowe's, and you can find our critter mite tails on our website. You can also find the critter mite flies available online at our website and you can find all the fish you want in the river using this fly. It's very effective for smallmouth bass, trout, but also carp. Good luck. If you have any questions, just contact us at easterntrophies.com. We'll see you on the river.